Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, first and second Thessalonians, and now it's first Timothy, then it's second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon, and Hebrews, James, and now it's first Peter, and then it's second Peter, first John, second John, third John, Jude. It's time for our Bible story. Not long after the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, it happened. Mary had a baby boy. Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, just like the angel told him. Where was Jesus born? In a town called Bethlehem, which was Joseph's hometown. But after Jesus was born, Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus traveled to Jerusalem. How come? It was a tradition kept by God's people to take a newborn baby to the temple. Why did they have to go to the temple? They went to the temple so that they could receive prayer and blessings. They wanted to thank God for their healthy baby and to show that they were going to work hard to teach their baby all about God. That's cool. When they got there, a man named Simeon was there who loved God very much and had been waiting. Waiting for Jesus? Yes, a Simeon was very old and he had spent his entire life waiting and waiting for the Savior that God promised the people. God had promised Simeon that he would see the Savior in his lifetime and Simeon never gave up on that promise. He just waited and waited. That's a lot of waiting. But all of that paid off because Simeon was at the temple the exact time Jesus was brought to the temple by his parents, Mary and Joseph. Oh my, that's exciting. It sure is. The moment Simeon saw Jesus, he knew, he knew that this was the savior of the world. Simeon took baby Jesus in his arms and praised God. He said, God, you are king over all. This is what you had promised. My eyes have seen how you will save everyone. Jesus' parents must have been so surprised. They definitely were, but get this. Also at the temple was a prophet named Anna. She was very old too and stayed at the temple praising God. She was also waiting for the Savior. Did she get to see Jesus? She did. She gave thanks to God. She told everyone there about Jesus and how God had kept a promise to the people. Even though Jesus was a baby in our story, Jesus grew up and became strong and wise. He loved everyone and treated everyone with kindness. He told people about God and that in order to know God, they needed to believe in Jesus. Jesus would show them how their sins would be forgiven. And that was exactly the savior everyone needed and a savior worth waiting for. Seven, seven. I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7, 7. I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7, 7. I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. 
hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. Sorry, I'm just waiting. Oh, come on! Why won't it just happen already? <sighs> Sorry, kids. I guess I'm just a little bothered today, because, well, I'm just waiting for my moment. You know, that big, luxurious moment that happens to everyone before they become famous and successful. I'm just waiting for my moment, you know? It's just taking forever. I wish there was a way to speed up all this waiting, you know? Make it go by faster. But what makes time go by faster? Hmm. Well, there's that one phrase that says, time flies when you're having fun. So that means the more fun I have, the less time I will have to wait. All right, so I have to have fun. Okay, so what is fun? Hmm. Ah, what about a game? Let's see what we got. Aha! We're gonna play one of my favorite games. Jenga. Jenga! Classic game of Jenga. Jenga, which is Latin for block huh? All right, let's start. Where should we start? Where should I start? Let's do the middle one, because that seems like it's working good. <laughs> the middle one is down. All right, which one next? I think we're going to live life on the edge a little bit. On the edge of Jenga. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Now what? Hmm. Oh, you want me to like, actually play the game of Jenga? Hmm, let's do this one. Hmm, let's do. How about that one? Oh, it, it looks like it's getting a little scared by the How about that one? Oh, well, how about that one? Hmm, let's see. What about, hmm, I don't know. Hmm, hmm, this one. What about, hmm, 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 this one. What about, oh boy, oh boy. I forgot how to get some restacking on top. Do you think I can get rid of this one? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> We're going to live life on the edge a little bit. You see this one? This is one holding up this whole stack. And I have the confidence I can pull it out. <sighs> one, two, three. That didn't work. Well, man, that was fun. I bet you that took a whole two hours. Oh, wait. That was only 34 seconds. Man! Oh, hey, Sam! Carl, how you doing? Well, okay, I guess. You guess? What's wrong? Well, I'm tired of waiting, Sam. Waiting? Waiting for what? For my moment. It's taking forever. All right, I guess I'm lost. What moment? Okay, there comes a moment in every person's life where they have a, that, that moment. Something that changes them from someone normal to someone super important and successful. Interesting. I guess I didn't realize that. Yeah, well now I'm left here waiting. Waiting for it to happen and I just don't know when it ever will. Well, waiting can be hard, I get that. I know a story of a couple of people who also had to wait for something a long time. Really? Who? Their names are Simeon and Anna. They lived in the time when Jesus was born. Oh, so a long, long time ago. Yeah, well, Simeon was a man who loved God with all of his heart and devoted his whole life to God. Sounds like a good guy. Simeon received the promise from God that he would see the Savior with his own eyes before he died. Wow, what a promise. I can imagine Simeon liked that news. But he waited a long time. He became very old, and it still hadn't happened yet. And there was another person, and her name was Anna. She was a prophet, and she was also very old. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I have to wait until I'm very old before my moment happens. That doesn't sound fun. Just hang on, Carl. Anna also loved God and worshipped God all the time. So much that she almost never left the temple. Was she waiting for Jesus too? Yes. She studied God's word with all her heart. 
and in the scriptures there were promises of the Savior coming. She believed with all her heart that the Savior was on the way. So did they get to meet Jesus? Yup, and it just so happens that it was tradition for the parents to take their babies to the temple. Why? Was there a daycare there or something? No, no. They went to dedicate their children to God. They asked for prayers of blessing so that their family can grow in ways that would please God. How cool! So Mary and Joseph did the same thing. They took baby Jesus to the temple. <gasps> and Simeon and Anna were there? Yup. They both got to meet Jesus. They praised God and thanked God for finally sending the long-awaited Savior. It was a great moment and it was a huge celebration because their wait was finally over. Wow, that was their moment. But instead of becoming successful, I guess it was the chance to have Jesus in their life. Absolutely. You see, if we wait for success, fame, love, and acceptance from anything but God, we will be waiting for a long time, even if we find all those things. Why is that? Well, everything else falls short compared to Jesus. Jesus is the reason why we celebrate not only Christmas, but every day. Jesus came to earth so that everyone could be saved. The people of Israel waited forever. Simeon and Anna waited forever. But Jesus was worth the wait. Wow, I guess you're right. Now that I think about it, Jesus is the one we've been waiting for. And that's the big idea I've been waiting for. <laughs> what? Damn! And if you said that, I said the big idea that I didn't even realize it. Sam! Today's big idea is Jesus is the one we've been waiting for. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the one we've been waiting for. Oh yeah, we've been waiting for Jesus. Yes.